welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, in honour of it being October and getting closer to Halloween, I am going to be trying to recreate some apparently easy and appropriate for last minute Halloween tutorials. So I've been doing some research and I find, I would say about four definitely that I'd like to try. Um, I'm going to be doing a few videos leading up to Halloween where I basically try and recreate Halloween looks without having or hopefully without having to buy any Halloween FX makeup or special makeup just using what I have in my collection and also maybe trying stuff out and giving maybe some tips or tricks about how I did it and what I find helpful myself and whether or not these are easy and then also maybe add I guess like a spin to any and um, I do have one in mind that I think I could go a different direction with if I wanted to so just stay tuned and we will see how to get some spooky season appropriate looks. Okay, I am back. I have zoomed you guys in. I'm not gonna lie, I have actually just been on a run and I have run short, but I figured there wasn't too much point because I'm obviously going to be putting on Halloween makeup so it's gonna need short anyway. So I've just got my hair back off my face and I think I'm going to start with my face. And to be honest, I don't think I'm gonna prime my face. I don't really see the point because obviously it's not staying. As you can see, I have quite a few blemishes and all going on, but this is not really about actually looking nice. So first things first, I'm going to do my base makeup. So I'm gonna be taking a mixture of the Ordinary Serum Foundation because I believe it is my lightest foundation and then actually an LA Girl whitening foundation which is essentially white foundation but it's supposed to be used to mix into a foundation that's slightly too dark which i believe i have a little left over so like i said it is the la guard pro coverage hd high definition long wear illuminating foundation i don't know if it has a shade oh yeah the shade is white foundation lightener ordinary serum foundation in the shade 1.0 i don't have my product showcase on hence why i'm hiding my face and i've actually just realized that i have this Revolution makeup stick and it's in the shade F2 which is pretty light so I'm actually going to start with that it's hopefully going to be like the thickest and I am going to be taking it down on my neck a little but not too far and apologies if I look downwards slightly because my mirror is just down this foundation always scares me because it's so liquidy it's actually kind of upsetting because realistically this shade here is kind of my real colour and hopefully I have some of this I do so that is literally white makeup and I'll probably just blend this all in off camera and then come back to you when I'm finished also as I blend this all in together I do realise I haven't actually said what makeup I'm going to be doing yet so I'm going to be doing a, like a vampire a vampire vampire slash undead I'm also just taking this foundation over my eyebrows and my lips because I'm really just trying to take like any colour that I have I'm just trying to take it just take it away yeah I guess vampires like are undead so I'm kind of going like for like the undead that's my that's the look I'm going for so then for concealer I'm going to be going in with the mix of the elf 16 hour camo concealer the shade fair warm and the revolution pro ultimate coverage crease proof concealer in the shade c3 so it's that one is the revolution one and this one is the elf one Um, I don't really like I'm not looking to conceal I'm more looking to just put as much essentially paleness on my face as possible so i'm just gonna put that everywhere i am getting a bit like cakey it's fine i like my camera i think my camera is good but like the app that it has is not good is this oh my goodness every time i think that's disgusting <laughs> look at that oh that's not even that pale at all i don't want anyone to think i have any color in my face yeah the app died is what i was trying to say before I went off on a tangent. So I'm just gonna blend that all in. Kind of hoping that I can like do this look, but it's not ruined by the fact that I just like I'm wearing a thousand layers of makeup because it's not obviously the point. The point is just to be as pale as possible. This is getting kind of hard to blend because of how much stuff I do have on my face. I'm gonna give myself a spritz of primer water and then just blend this all in off camera because it's obviously much the same. Okay, so now that I am all nice and pale and blended, I'm gonna go in with the Cody Airspun powder and I'm just gonna set my whole face and I'm really just gonna go ham and set my whole face. Really just get in there, really set that face. Okay, so now that my face is set, I wanna bring some dimension into my face. So I am gonna start by contouring my face, but then I'm gonna go in with, I don't know if I'm gonna go in with like a gray or a black. I'm gonna start off by just contouring and I'm gonna contour with the Hoola bronzer. Okay, so I just said I was gonna contour with the Hoola bronzer, but I just had an idea. This is too dark for me and it's far too cool toned. So I'm thinking if I blend it well, it's the Revolution Conceal and Define in the shade C15. 
could I blend it well to like really try and like hollow out my cheeks? I'm gonna try it. I'm just gonna put it on this brush here, which is, I believe it's a Dose of Colors brush. Yeah, it is, but I couldn't tell you which one. A flat contour brush. And I'm gonna put a super light hand and I'm gonna, I really shouldn't have set my face before. If I can blend it, which I obviously, like I just said, shouldn't have set my face. I'm trying to make myself look very hollowed and kind of unhealthy. So actually, because usually I obviously want to like look nice, I wouldn't blend like this. I'm just gonna really just like take a layer of skin off my face. Mm, I actually quite like how this is looking. It's gone nice and gray on me, which usually is not the desired effect. But today I like. I feel like my teeth look so weird because I've got so much foundation on. And then I'm also then gonna go in with the con with the hula over that. And then I'm gonna start going in with that grey. It can still be better blended, I admit. Maybe <laughs> maybe I'll blend it out a little bit better. I don't want to take it too low though, because I'm trying to like have the hollows of my cheeks. I'm just gonna use a brush that the hula comes with. And again, let's go in quite deep. Hula is usually very cool tone for me and compared to what I want this look to go like, it's actually too warm. So now I think we're gonna start going in with like the greys and stuff. Right, but I'm just gonna take this big Real Techniques brush and just for a while just like really blend everything together. Okay, so why I thought I had a grey eyeshadow, I don't know because I love warm tones. So I'm gonna take this Bobbi Brown palette. It is the Bobbi Brown Caviar and Rubies eyeshadow palette, which I don't love because of the shades. And I'm gonna take a mix of this kind of navy color and this like cool tone brown just on this stipple and brush. I don't really know how to like mix them on the brush itself. Easily the most expensive eyeshadow palette I own, maybe. And I just don't like it at all. But let's go. Oh yeah, that's kind of working. Oh yeah, that's good. I just needed to blend a little bit more. I'm just hoping the bronzer hasn't like bronzed me up too much that there's still not like enough. I want there to be a really stark contrast. Like I want to look chiseled, but in a dead way. I have ideas about how to do my eyes and stuff. And I'm hoping that like said ideas come to fruition. I currently look at the chimney sweep. So I'm just gonna blend that all and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've zoomed you in a bit more to start on the eyes. And I'm gonna be taking, this is a My Kitco palette, but it's mostly made up of um, Makeup Geek eyeshadow. So I'm going to be taking Blueberry. My makeup key. Sorry, the magnets are quite hard to get out. Curfew. I'm gonna be taking this on this Sigma Large Fluff Brush. I'm just mixing the two of them together. And I'm gonna be putting it just under my eyes to give like rings and shadows, basically. So obviously the look that I'm going for is like sleep deprived, I guess. Bruised and sleep deprived. It's kind of my look. I will say the YouTube videos that I watched, I watched yesterday and I can kind of remember like what they looked like-ish in the end, but I can't say that I remember particularly how they did it. So I'm just gonna take this Morphe M433 brush and kind of do the same thing because it's kind of not blending down. It's also looking pretty blue. So I might go back in over top with my Cody Airspun. I want it to look as natural as possible. I just feel like I have so much like, powder on my face and so much makeup on my face that like things are just sticking to where they they are instead of blending. I feel like I'm kind of getting somewhere now. I think you just need to really work with it. And I feel like I've, I've kind of accidentally almost like reverse winged it too much. I might obviously like the shadows under your eyes, they wouldn't go up there. So I'll maybe need to like just fix that. But I do think the more, I'm gonna add a little bit of the purple. I do think the more I do this, the more I like it. I actually feel like that's starting to kind of look like bruises under the eye. You know, like from obviously like literally centuries worth of sleep deprivation. I'm getting very like factual and like, well, it needs to look like this because real vampires haven't slept in this many years. So like I should look like this. I would love if I was like dedicated enough. Oh, look at me. I look so sick. I love it. If I was dedicated enough to have gotten like red contacts or something, but I ain't. I have never put contacts in of any description. So I'm certainly not putting red ones in. Okay, I'm gonna do my lids. I don't really know what to do with my lids. Maybe like a bit, I'll do like a lesser version of this just to begin with, the blue and the purple. Just for more like bruising. Cause at the minute they obviously just look a bit like stark in comparison. So just again, I wish real easy was this make <laughs> Real makeup was this easy that I could just like do everything without blending. I really like how the under eyes are looking, but like you wouldn't really be bruised anywhere else in your face, would you? Okay, so for this next step, I actually have four eyeliners, which is not necessary, but I have the Estee Lauder Pure Color in the shade Black and Cocoa. I have Max Factor 030 Brown Gold Pencil. I have a Kiko Milano Everlasting Kajal. Gel? I don't know what shade this is in. It's like a purpley shade. And then I have the next Perfect 
professional makeup lip liner in kitten heels. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna start kind of adding like veins. I wanted to have a few different colors to make it like a bit more realistic. So I'm just gonna start by drawing. That's actually a bit thick. This is obviously like, this is flattened. You see that? So that might not be the best. I'll just, I might need to like look down a bit. Snake it down a bit more. I'm not sure this is working out super well. I like the purple and the red would be better. I didn't want to go in like full pelt red. I thought that would be unrealistic. Okay, and now I'll go in with the red. <sighs> the pressure is building. I don't know what I did with my mirror. I'm <laughs> kind of stressed. In with the red. I'm really having to like drag my skin. It's clearly better for a lip liner. I'm gonna kind of blend that in with my finger a little bit and then add a few more slightly more defined kind of red lines and I kind of wanted to do the same thing on my eyelids it looks a bit more like I've tried to do like a devil look on my eyelids I'm gonna add a little bit of the purple eyeliner but I'm gonna blend these in I'm just gonna pat those down with my fingers would a vampire have red lips or black lips or purple lips I'm gonna go with purple Needs to sharpen, it's cutting me. I'm just gonna blend that lip liner in. I'm gonna line it with red. Horrendously overlined. I'm gonna even pretend that's a Halloween choice because it doesn't make sense. I want the inside of my lips to be black, like again, like I'm dead. But suddenly I've gone like Joker esque. Oh, sorry, I forgot a step. I'm gonna take this lip liner, the red one, I'm actually gonna soften it or try and soften it a bit. I'm gonna do my waterline and my tight line. Yeah, I like that. My lips are gonna sore because the eyeliner actually was down to like the very end. So it was like the wood up at the top. And I'm gonna take the red slightly down below as well. Like, like almost extend my waterline and make it nice and red. Blend it out with a red eyeshadow as opposed to dragging a dry pencil this close to my eyeballs. I think I might have ruined it with the lip, but I'm gonna try and come back from it. You seeing like this? I don't know how you couldn't be seeing that. Literally feel like I'm about to stab myself in the eye. But considering I tried to take that off with a foundation brush or like a concealer, I'm gonna fix this and I'll be back because I'm getting stressed. Okay, sorry, I'm back. I got stressed because when I went to use my concealer brush all around my lips, obviously the last time I'd used concealer I had tan on, so I brought like dark makeup on my face. I'm gonna quickly stick on a quick lick of mascara not too much i'm just gonna use the paradise l'oreal paradise ecstatic mascara and just i can't put on falsies but i don't think mascara is necessary and i'm gonna i think probably i don't know i don't know what to do with my eyebrows should they be should they be dark just brushing them through with mascara but i feel like they should probably be black but either black or white i don't know how i'm gonna make my eyebrows white i'm gonna go with this kiko eyeliner which is the same as the purple one this is in the shade 01 and i'm gonna do the inside of my lips to just look like disgusting actually worked out pretty well kind of taken over the purple that's okay that can just give me ooh, yeah like a bruised lip because obviously i have like no circulation i'm just gonna add a few in the black okay i'm just blending them with my oh no i forgot it's so creamy it's added a big bruise Blah, 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 blah. When I need to go back in with my red, I wonder would it be easier to take that. I'm not really like a lip brush person, so I don't really have any lip brushes. Actually, I'll be back. So I forgot I have this NYX retractable lip liner in dark red. It's so creamy that it literally just broke on my hand. That's what we like. Oh uh, yeah, that's so much better. I'm gonna do the outside of my eyes. Well, maybe the outside and the inside. I'm gonna need to get a real good face wash. And I'm gonna lay the basis for like my blood dripping like this and I'm gonna go over it. So I wanna go like, see look around, add that up for like texture and like blur it out with my finger to get that like stained, like blood stained. Hmm, I feel like I'm missing something. So I'm gonna go with this NYX soft matte lip cream and it's in the shade Madrid. This is gonna be more of kind of like a, an old blood stain. I don't know whether to do blood. I'll do blood on both of my lips. And then I'm taking my very precious I'm Ellie Kelly. Nope. I completely made that up. So sue me, so kiss me. Because I want to take the lip gloss. Because I want that to be like my fresh blood, but I really don't want to ruin this. Yeah, yeah, how good is that? I think I need to make my eyebrows black. 
Ali Kelly stuff, it smells like Ali Kelly. Obviously, someone has a collaboration with Ali Kelly because I keep saying Ali Kelly. I don't know who Ali Kelly is. I put on some extra mascara. I feel like everything was calm and now I'm like going really fast or like going really fast and not like actually doing anything productive or useful. I need a black eyeliner. I oh, I did. I'm just gonna go with that Kiko eyeliner again in my eyebrows and just make those black. I don't really know why. I just feel like I need to do something with them so like that kind of makes sense I guess. You would not use this as an eyebrow brush. It's extremely creamy. Oh wow. They are Oh wow, they're some nice brows. Just brush that coal eyeliner through my brows. Mm, this is really adding to the look. I want to add, I think, a little like of the blue to my contour. Blue and the purple. To give it more of like a bruise, like a hollowed look. And take that on an eyeshadow brush. Blue, kind of hard to blend. I think I kind of ruined it with the eyebrows. But I'm really happy with the eyes. The lift is pretty good. I'm gonna have a quick Google. Oh god, what am I doing? Oh god, what have I done? I'll be back. Okay, so I think that is the finished makeup. I would, I think, be a lot happier if this would blend a little more, but at the same time, I don't really think that, um, oh goodness, itchy brown and blue eyeshadows are intended to be blended like this. I will be back in a second. Just, I'm gonna go like just appraise what I've done and see if it's all definitely finished and then I'll be back to wrap up. Okay, so I um, went down to my dad, not not to ask his opinion, just to show off what I've done. He says my eyes aren't dark enough. I need to make them darker and he says my eyebrows look too fancy. So in which case, do I have a black eyeshadow? I'm gonna go in with my Laura Lee palette, which is the Vada Foss one. I'm gonna take a mixture of Lou and Smashly here. Mostly Lou, bit of splash Smashly just for the kind of like green color. Oh, I'm actually gonna spray. Ah, oh, I have a hair in my mouth. I'm gonna spray my brush because actually I'm just remembering now that last time I used that Smash, that's Lou color. It actually was really poor. So I sprayed my brush. And I'm gonna just basically do line just tops and bottoms of my eyes with like black and green. In fairness, that already looks better. I try and do that on the top as well. I already have mascara on. I need to stop like winging. I have them around this. Drag it down. I'll figure out what I've done here later. And maybe I'll be a vampire black eye. I do think that looks better, admittedly. That smashly colour, quite like that kind of greeny. Oh yeah, that makes me look sick. I don't know what to do with my eyebrows though. Okay, so that's annoying, I think, verging on too much. I'm just gonna take this wee brush that I never use. It's just a powder brush. And just a little bit of the Cody Airspun. Blend that out a bit. Does that make sense? What am I doing? I don't want, to, I just don't want to have gone too green. And then I would use like a lipstick if I had thin lip brush. I have this Makeup Geek pencil brush and this Bobbi Brown lipstick in Vixen Red. That I think is too thick, that's too big. Just this NYX pencil, but the only annoying thing about the NYX pencil was that it was breaking so easily, so I'll just have it off like as little as possible. Just make my veins there quite pronounced. And then I'm gonna do the same, but I'm actually gonna do it. How do people do art on their eyelids? Is that right? Try and like blend those eyelid ones in. I think they look a bit dark. Imagine me doing all this to impress my dad. In fairness, I think I am happier with that. I'll be back in one second to finalize the look. So I just took a lip brush there, not a lip brush, that pencil brush, just to try and like soften out, soften up these veins in my eyelids. Introducing my three pound wig. The highlight so far of spooky season. The worst hairline in the world. That is the end of this vampire look vampire slash undead look using all products that I have in the house except for my new my new do and I hope you enjoyed please like subscribe and I'll see you in the next one so I'll take a quick clip of it without the wig and without my hair back just to see what it looks like obviously just with normal hair I actually think it looks okay I feel like I look sort of like not that I look like Elena but like they tended to just get a little bit paler and a bit of like eye action in the vampire diaries they didn't go for like the whole white hair thing so 